what happened to the girl? <laughs> the light turned green and uh, she walked across the street. I'm glad you took Whitey down. He's always smirking at people and enjoying their misery. What did Robert say about Junior? He seemed like a nice guy. Uh, what happened with him? We lived together for like a year and a half in LA. And he wanted to marry me. But there's more to life than a Moby Dick. <laughs> Not much more, but there is. That was a joke. Uh -huh. What what do you do? Do you have a kid with every one you every man you've ever lived with? No. But sometimes babies decide to show up when you don't plan. And then you love them all the more. Don't you want to raise your own kids? Of course I do. I mean, I talked to Junior today on the phone. I'm going to spend the weekend with him. But he stays with his father. Why are you running around with people like Vinny? Pophead's going nowhere. He was just a ride from Reno. And now he's dead. People die sooner or later. He was sooner. What are you going to do now? We'll see this other man. Peter. He's beaten you before, hasn't he? Yes. Do you have any money? My father left me a small trust when he died. Is he the one that abused you? You're my lawyer, right? Everything you say is client attorney privilege. I tell nobody about it. No. It was the Honorable Richard Gallagher. Congressman? Same. <laughs> so he's your stepdad. Lucky you. And your real dad's inheritance supports your transitory life? I mean, is that what you want to do with the rest of your life? Travel around, take a few courses at college, visit your kids, get beat up on occasion? American dream. Don't you ever want custody of your kids? Of course I do. The courts look at a parent to see how stable she is. If you want custody of your kids, you've got to have a place of your own. A man that doesn't beat you. Not many men want a woman with a ready-made family. And the one I wanted, he left. Karma. Can you help me? I don't do domestic law. Thanks for listening to me. Where are you going? I'm going to go back to the hotel. Wait a minute. Stop. Where are you going to stay? I'll find a place. Listen, listen. Look, Yosemite trip, my mistake with Robert, the whitey thing, my children. Listen, I'm, I'm tired. I mean, couldn't we talk about this in the morning? Look, let's go back to my place, okay? I promise you, I'm way too tired for anything to happen. Okay? I'm gonna go to sleep. Call you in the late afternoon. On the beach. Yeah. I'll get a hold of you later. Thanks. <laughs> there goes a surf town. Think Dole have any pineapples at his party? Or pina coladas? Where's Wadey? He ought to be here for the festivities. He had a problem with the Lord this morning. 
you're a lawyer, right? Yeah. You know, this whole town is crawling with lawyers for this goddamn convention. <laughs> I'll be happy when it's over. They all go home, leave San Diego to the locals. Peter's like a local. <laughs> you know what? I feel like a local. You know why? Because I love America. I love everything about America. Peter's <laughs> as American as you can get. I love this car. I just got one like this. Born in Bulgaria. <laughs> I love American women, beautiful. Sired by a Russian <laughs> prince. You know a lawyer named Anna Bart? Oh yeah, he's got his hair combed back. Who? The other day at the state courthouse. The guy that kept yelling congressman. What? So I didn't know what to think, congressman. He was calling you out. Are you worried? Can you check him out for me? <laughs> Peter, we'll get on that tomorrow. The congressman's got to get on Chrissy tonight. Just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I like those young girls. <laughs> Found you. Young girls keep that old man's blood flowing. <laughs> what are you two up to? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I sit here? Go ahead. What a gorgeous day today, huh? <laughs> a lot of paperwork, huh? Listen, you're a lawyer, right? Yeah. Listen, man, I need a legal advice and I'll pay for that. Is that okay? That's fine. See, uh, I got this woman, man. She's beautiful. She's beautiful, beautiful. You know, I love her taste, I love her smell, I, I love everything about her. Every time I see her, I get hurt, you know? You understand me. So, from the first time I saw her when she was 16, I knew I had to be inside of her, man. I knew it, I knew it. She called me Peter Rabbit, you know why? Because I fuck like a rabbit, you know? <laughs> oh, by the way, my name is Peter. Hi. So, like a rabbit all the time. Hey, you know Whitey, right? Now you tell me, why would I force this woman to be with me? So you're the woman beater. <laughs> I knew she had a couple of men, but only my seed was strong enough to bear fruit with her. Now she needs me, man. Only I can satisfy her needs, you understand? Well, how come she's got a child from a black man? What? A Negro? You're lying. Oh, you're right. My mistake. I have trouble with foreign accents. I thought you were somebody else. What country are you from? Now, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you tell me about this child, this bastard child. Well, there's nothing to tell. Nothing to tell. You know what? You lie like a lawyer. Let me pick up your tough for this legal consultation. You know where my girl is, right? I hope she comes home soon, don't you?
Booster Boy. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. No, thanks a lot. <laughs>